Hello everybody, this is Cyrus here, back with another video. Today we're taking a look at this Fawn truck mounted street sweeper made by Corgi Toys. Uh, we're going to get a better look at this in a minute. Um, I'll pull it up a little bit, get the spin table turned on, and give you a quick 360 degree view of the truck itself. All right, there we go. So if we turn the truck back around, I'll point out some details using a pencil. I am, unfortunately, I don't have a metal pointer tool, so I'm gonna try and see if I can get my uh, fingers out of the way in most of the video. So on the side, you have your Fawn logo, as well as your hazard stripes. You do have a molded in door handle to access the cab. And then you do have some decent detailing on the hubcaps, as well as your vacuum system and your smaller sweeping brush. They refer to these brushes as uh, gutter brushes or channel brushes, whatever you want to call these. Quickly turning it around just so you can get a better look at what we've got going on in the back portion. Uh, you do have a molded in beacon light on top, which is a little bit scratched up, but I did get the second hand. And then the other flaw is that it, there's supposed to be like a wandering suction hose on the back. Uh, that's missing, but otherwise it is complete. You still have your um, sticker on the back. Paint chips are very minor. And then you can... Uh, the main concept is there would be a hose attached to here and you would use this to suck up debris and harder to get areas and then you also have the lines for your molded in hopper door as well as a hydraulic mechanism that would be used to open the hopper door when the truck is at the depot and they need to empty out the hopper on this side the graphics are obviously no different uh, quickly looking on top, you do have a molded in bump. I don't know for sure what that's for. I'm guessing maybe that's an access hatch or I don't know if that is a air conditioning unit or something, but you do have two molded in vents up there. You got a molded in fuel tank and then your main sweeping broom. And of course, the cab detail is no different. You got two light inserts, which are both still there. The chrome on the grill is a little bit scratched up, uh, but otherwise, it is um, pretty good. Otherwise, uh, this is an e Mercedes cab, by the way, if you're wondering. Pull it forward, maybe you can get a better look inside the cab. You can see I have a couple seats and a molded in steering wheel, which is a nice detail. If I am going to get a little bit nitpicky, there should actually be two steering wheels. Uh, this is actually a true to life fact because most street sweepers uh, will actually have a steering wheel on both sides. One of which would be to cover um, uh, the other side when they have to get close up to the curve. So it helps to have a steering wheel and uh, controls on the opposite side and then they would use the steering wheel on this side when they're driving on the road. Uh, but then when it comes to the passenger side and they would have a steering wheel, uh, this would, like I said, be when they really need to get close up to curves, that can come in more handy for that. So I showed those. So uh, as I pointed out, there was a wandering suction hose on the back. It's obviously missing, but it does come out of these clips here. If we turn the truck on its side, which is obviously not a recommended pose, you can see your tread pattern, and then your uh, two brushes and your part of your vacuum system. The side ch um, gutter brush or channel brush does pull out. It's a little bit varnished, but otherwise it's I can let that slide.
And by the way, this gutter brush is also made out of rubber. And then your main sweeping brush underneath, these are, this is a real brush, by the way, and that's a metal pin going through this entire broom assembly here is metal. Uh, same thing goes with this one here, except for the little black plastic piece right there. But yeah, you can totally see how that's, you know, metal. You can hear the metal moving. But yeah, just to show the example. Hopefully you can hear that scraping sound. Um, so yeah, and what's nice is if you push the truck along, it's kind of hard to see, but maybe if I can get the light adjusted, I do have both my lights on, but hopefully you can see it. I'll probably move the camera down a little bit so you can get a better look at what we've got going on here. So I just adjusted the camera so you can see the brush is in fact moving. So when you push the truck along, the brush does uh, make contact, so it will in fact roll, which is quite nice. I'll zoom it in a little bit so you can get a better look. No, it's a little bit raised. There we go. Got it um, unraised, but yeah. Hopefully you can see the brush rolling. I can see it on the camera, but just want to make sure you guys can see it. So yeah, it will work as an actual street sweeper if you wanted it to work, use it as one. I mean, it's not the debris is not going to go up into the hopper, but if you wanted the brushes to, you know, actually make contact with the surface of your floor or table, uh, that is possible. Can't really see it too well on there because that surface is a little too low for the um, camera lens. But that covers my review on this Corgi Street Sweeper. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, also, before we end the video, I just want to quickly point out that I set up a playlist to um, for uh, videos that are um, related to um, the City of Toronto Street Sweeper. So, a bit of information, I happen to live here in Toronto. Um, there are obviously quite a few street sweepers, but whenever you see, whenever I see one that is painted uh, navy blue with the yellow cabs, the hopper would be like the navy blue color, and then the cab would be yellow, which is obviously typical for uh, the city of Toronto trucks. Uh, those would be owned by the city of Toronto department, so I intend to try and film those, make a couple videos, and I'll be adding them to a special city of Toronto street sweeper playlist that's on my channel, so be sure to check that out. I already have it set up. Till then, that covers my video on the Corgi Street Sweeper. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, I think I paid about $30 um, dollars for this. Uh, it's an older casting. There's quite a bit of metal being used, uh, so I personally think it was a reasonable deal considering the condition, because uh, the con um, damage was, like I said, pretty minor. Uh, so yeah, like I said, let me know in the comments what you think. Was it worth the $30? Until then, I'll see you in some more videos very soon. Have a good day, guys. Bye.